I'm so glad you're doing Under the Sea Camp with me. We are going to start with the little Sculpey clay. So you have this in a little container and when you open it, there's a whole bunch of different colors of Sculpey clay. The first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna dump it out. If you have, um, if it's just you, you can use it however, but if you're sharing with siblings, go ahead and divide it into three parts. So if I have this purple, I can use like a little plastic knife. I can even use a pair of scissors and I wanna snip it into three parts. So I'm gonna have three separate pieces of purple, three separate of white, three of black, three of red, three of green, and three of darker green. And then you're gonna need a little piece of parchment paper. Parchment paper is what I sent you in your baggie of melt beads. So you can use that parchment paper or you can go and you can see if your mama has some parchment paper. This is going to be your little um, cookie sheet, okay? So I'm gonna let you get that separated. Once you have it separated, you're gonna roll each piece into a ball. It'll start out kind of hard, and then as you roll it and squish it, it's gonna get softer, okay? So I'll see you back in just a minute. Get your clay ready and get your little cookie sheet ready. Okay, we're ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide what color the body part of my octopus is. And for me, it's gonna be red. So I have rolled my red into a ball. I wanna make sure it's nice and warm, squishy, and then I'm gonna use my thumb and my first finger and I'm gonna squish it like I'm pinching it. Once I've pinched it and it's flat, I've got my little cookie sheet and I'm gonna come right on here and I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna keep pushing on it and I'm gonna shape that into an octopus's head. So if you squish it all around, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see. All right, here we go. Just squish, squish, squish. I can even turn it over. I don't want it super thin because I don't want it to break. But there I have a nice little round octopus head. And actually mine's kind of ovally. And as you guys know, you know that I like things cutesy. And so I don't mind that he has a chubby little head. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use the white and I'm gonna make eyeballs. So I am gonna pinch off the teeny tiniest little bit of clay. I'm gonna roll it in my finger and then I'm gonna show you. It's just that big can't even think of something that is this size. I can think of something gross. But if your mom does like pepper and has a peppercorn, those little peppercorns maybe are this big. So I'm gonna do the first little ball of white. I'm gonna take another little pinch of white and I'm gonna roll it in my hand. All right, so I have two balls of white. I'm gonna squish them in my fingers. Those are my eyeballs. I'm gonna put them in the middle of the octopus's head. One's bigger than other. The other, I don't actually care. I think it's gonna be cute. So those are my white eyeballs. I'm gonna squish them, not too, too hard, but enough to where they are stuck, okay? Now, I'm gonna get the black. I'm gonna get an even smaller pinch of black, and I'm gonna roll it in my finger. Roll, roll, roll. There he is, really tiny. And I'm gonna squish him too. Squish him like a bug. Then, I'm gonna set it right there, okay? So go ahead and make both eyes and then we'll go on to the legs. Okay, I did my eyes and I even took like the little things to make the shiny white part in the eye and mine are kind of silly. One is looking up and one is looking down, but I have him done. Notice he sticks to my little cookie sheet too, which is awesome because I am gonna bake this in the oven. I'm gonna give you directions on how to do that, but you're gonna need a grown up's help. So. He's ready to go. I am now going to take the two different colors of green and I am gonna squish them together. So I am using my fingers and I squish it and then I turn it and then I'm gonna twist it. So I'm twisting it and then I'm gonna squish it some more. And then I'm gonna roll it in a ball. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I have lots of white left. So I'm gonna also take about half of my white and you can use whatever color you want to. Um, I think there's some purple in there and I didn't get any purple out for me. If you do purple, purple and green don't mix well. So save purple till the very end. And in fact, I think I'll use purple for polka dots. All right, so I have done what's called marbling. Once I am done marbling, I'm gonna roll this in one ball. 
It's got the different colors in there. It kind of looks like the earth or a planet. All right, now I'm gonna take my hand flat and I am going to roll it. I've got a tablecloth here and it makes it wrinkle. You don't have to have a tablecloth if you don't want to. This won't hurt your surfaces. All right, so I am rolling into a hot dog. See that? I don't, again, want it too thin, but these are gonna be my legs. So I want it not as thin as spaghetti. Spaghetti is too thin and those will just fall off. All right, now I have really cool legs. Mine are very marbly, see that? Once I have that, I'm gonna turn it and break it right in the middle. Then I'm gonna turn it again. I'm gonna break it right in the middle. I'm gonna take this one, break it right in the middle. So now I have four pieces. There are eight legs on an octopus. So I'm gonna break those four pieces in half. You can also use a little knife or a pair of scissors, okay? So what I've ended up with are four divided in half, make eight. All right, each little leg, if you need to roll it again, you can. I'm gonna lift his head up off of here because I want to tuck the legs down underneath. So let me put the first leg on. Once I have it on, it's gonna look like that. Now your legs may be different colors from mine. That's just fine. Maybe you didn't do a red head. Maybe you did a purple head. Maybe you're doing purple legs, no big deal. So I've got the two greens for me with some white in it. And I am just gonna work right now on getting those little legs tucked underneath the octopuses. I guess he just has a head and it's attached to his body. This is a lot of legs. If you didn't want an octopus, something else that you could make and it would be super easy is a jellyfish because a jellyfish has similar kinds of legs. Okay, I've got one more leg to go and I think I will stick it right here. I'm gonna lift this up and show it to you. Woo, that's a lot of legs. Octopuses have lots of legs, see that? So all of my legs are attached and then I use my fingers to gently squeeze. That way they are all stuck together, okay? I'm gonna let you work on your legs for just a minute and I'm gonna get my legs where I want them and then we'll be back. All right, my legs are completely done and then you can see I made a little smiley face as well. Now, if you wanna add more decorations, I'm gonna get a little bit of that purple. You could also use red if you want to, if you did the body red, well, maybe not on the body. Um, anyway, so in order to do this next part, I'm gonna take little bitty bits of the purple, I can use them. You know, octopuses have the little suction cups along their legs. So if I want to, I can put little suction cups along the legs. I also could just do things like I can make him, if you mix red with white, you can make little pink cheeks, but you also could just do polka dots on the face. And depending on how big you make them, you can just decorate that way. So once you have your octopus done and it's all decorated, you are going to ask a parent or a grown up, any grown up that's in your house, to turn your oven to 250 degrees. You're gonna use the little pieces of parchment paper and a cookie sheet. You're going to lay these with a grown up's help on a cookie sheet. You're gonna put them in the 250 degree oven and you are going to bake them for a total of 20 minutes. Once you bake them for 20 minutes, you will peel them off of your parchment paper. The parchment paper can be reused. So if you have extra clay, you can make something else or you can buy this clay at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. Once it goes in the oven and it bakes, it's gonna be hard. I like to do like put a magnet on the back of here and you can stick it on your refrigerator or you can actually attach them to other things. Look, I could put something on here and I could glue it and I could have a little octopus for my necklace. So once you have everything all the way done, you can decide what you want to do with your little creature.